All right, uh, I will show you the solution how we can monitor failed background jobs. Here we have a job that has failed and now I will jump to another window where I will set up a monitoring uh, report. Here I can look for certain job names and job numbers um, and also I will set a dynamic variant on the end date of the job. So I will press save and enter test and here in the end date I will select uh, dynamic date variant and here I will choose the current date so that will be populated always in that selection field so let's uh, go back and execute this report in the background so uh, here let's select the variant it will be test I execute immediately I go back here and look for this job so you can see that it's active. It's looking for failed jobs that are uh, uh, finished today. And if you go to the job log, you can see it's uh, finished. One failed job was found. Here we go. Let's go here and uh, refresh. Oh, sorry. Like that. Oh, it's here. Okay. The job is failed. The subject contains the system and client number and the job uh, number and job ID. Here we have uh, the job log which is attached as an HTML file. So here you can see that this was a division by zero. And also you have the complete short dump uh, on the runtime error attached to the incident as well. So here you get all the, the uh, information that is uh, important for your service desk.